it and then I transfer it down to the stone. The work I've been doing on this course has been stone masonry, stone carving. Um, and it's just been the basics of how you can literally carve stone. Um, you know, we've been doing a couple of different designs and patterns. So we started off with a bowl, so they've just given you a big block of stone and you just carve it out with your chisel and mallet. Um, into a bowl shape is the basic thing we started off with. questions and getting engaged in it and asking questions about stonemasonry in general as well. Um, these are, it's basically made up of three different pieces. We started off with this central stem, um, which was, it was difficult to start with, I think, but now that I've obviously got the hang of it, it does look a lot easier than what we're doing now. Um, the second piece was then the top, which is just, it's just a curved piece, which wasn't too bad, and then the bottom. So yeah, and then we glued them together. Um, this was a lot easier, I think, after doing this, because then you're getting the hang of using the tools and stuff. Um, I am probably most proud of this one. I like the shape very much. It's a good learning experience. Um, I've never done it before, and I really need to do it um, for my uni course, because I'm doing product design at uni. Um, so this is sort of like an essential skill that I think would be really good to sort of explore ideas and come up with designs and stuff like that. <laughs> you happy with the product? Yeah, very happy. Very happy. They were a bit apprehensive, um, quite nervous, especially about a bit of high speed wood and the chisel together it doesn't really when really you're a novice is a bit scary but now they absolutely loved it. They're really confident now when they finish and yeah, they loved it. Picked out really well, I could say really quickly. I was actually impressed with how quickly they did. Um, and yeah, they, they sure 
yeah, I wasn't prepared with how quickly they would finish their pieces, so I, I was off my feet. Right, I didn't get some more pieces for them to, to start working on, but yeah, they were really good. Took it, yeah, picked up really well and produced some really nice pieces, I've got to say. I'm so happy. It's got, um, it's just from a, like, a bird, an image of like interlocking birds and stuff, and I just carved out like the, the feathers and wings so that they go underneath the bird on top. So it gives some sort of like 3D texture to it. I do just find it really inspiring being around other people who like making things and focusing on making something for a long period of time. Um, we do start talking about careers and different features you can have doing this. Um, which just makes me think it's really possible to have a career and a future doing creative hand skills, things in the arts, which you don't really hear about so much at school. So it's really nice to just feel like you've got a community of like creative people that exists, basically. You happy with it? Yeah. Yeah, much better. Much better than I thought it was going to end up. <laughs>